Hi, I'm Karthik. I'm a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. On Design School by WP Algorithm, I make step-by-step -step WordPress and elementary tutorials for beginners. So if you're new on this channel, consider subscribing and let's get into today's topic, which is to add a table of contents to your WordPress posts and pages automatically without you having to do anything. Now for this, you just need Elementor Pro and you don't need any third party plugin and it's quite simple and quite fun. I'll show you how in this tutorial. If you don't have Elementor Pro, get it from the link in the description and get started with the tutorial. Let's go. Log into your WordPress dashboard. It's your website.com forward slash WP hyphen admin. And in your dashboard, click on templates. Click on add new. And like I said, you need Elementor Pro for this. Click on single post and call it single post design. Since we're trying to do this automatically, we need this to be a part of our design. And that's the reason why we are creating a single post design, which means every new post that we create in Gutenberg will basically inherit this design and will automatically have that table of contents in it. Click on create template and you'll be greeted by these blocks and you can pick any one of them. I'll just pick this for now. I'll just click on insert template. You can create everything from the scratch, but I just want to show you the table of contents widget in action. So this is the content area of our post. And I just want to add table of contents to the right column. If you don't have another column, just right click and click on add new column. And to that column, just click on the widgets button and search for table of contents. And it's this one, just click and drag it right above that. And just like that, we have the table of contents in here appearing automatically. We can fine tune it. I'll also click on the column and here the vertical align is set to bottom. I'll just set it to top. So table of content looks good like this. You can totally customize the look of your table of contents. Go to style tab give it a background, but I'm fine with the background. I'll just click on the table of contents widget, go to style tab and I'll just give the header. I'll change the color to a brighter one. Basically I'll change color of everything to a brighter one. So even the markers, I want a brighter one and also the text color brighter one. So we now see the table of contents properly. Right. So that looks great. I'll just click on the content to fine tune it. And within this, you can choose what kind of anchor tags do you really need within your table of contents widget. And by default from H2 to H6, everything is picked. Now everything looks great, but you can see that it's actually also picking the more to explore, which is exactly this heading over here, which is in another section. But since this is an h2 the table of contents is picking that as well and also the things within that so it's even picking this guten test slider text and even this but we don't want this we just want a table of contents to act as an index of our post so how do we exclude that well simply just click on the column that has your content if it doesn't have a class just give it a class wpa hyphen content you can call it anything i'll just call it wpa hyphen content copy this class name click on the table of contents widget now just give the class to this which is your column that contains your section or this content now go back to your table of contents widget just put dot and paste the class name and now it just picks the headings within this container which is this column so it only picks four headings and it doesn't pick this more to explore and these post demos, which is exactly how we want our table of contents to function. I'll also remove this for now. And also your table of contents will act as a navigational guide. I'll show you what the navigational guide means in a bit. Again, you can pick the headings that you want to be included in the table of contents. Usually your content starts with H2 or H3 and it ends with H6. Obviously you don't want the paragraphs to be picked because that's the main content. These headings will just act as anchors 
or you can skip to that particular point just by clicking the table of contents widget. You have additional options. You can also pick word wrap. You can also pick minimize box. So that gives us a toggle to minimize it. You can also pick hierarchical view. So if you have subheadings within headings, it will also show those. You can also choose to collapse sub items if you don't really need them or you can pick these options. These are totally options that you can play with. You can click on update or publish and it will ask you to pick a template or a condition. Well, what this essentially means is when you click on add condition, it adds a default condition. It means all singular and that means any new post page or anything that you create on your website will have this design. But we just want this design to be just for our posts. So I'll just click on the drop down and pick posts. And when I pick posts, it will apply it to all posts or you can apply it to specific posts. But I'll leave it as is. If you also want this to be the design for your pages, click on add condition, click on the drop down, scroll down, click pages. But pages anyway will be designing with Elementor. So we don't need this. We just need this design for posts. I'll just click on save and close. So this design will be applied to any new post that we compose in Gutenberg. So I'll go back to my dashboard. I'll open it in a new tab. And in here, let's actually use Lipsum. That gives us some dummy content that we can put within our post. So I'll just copy everything from here. I'll go to posts. I'll just click on add new. And this is Gutenberg interface. Just give it a sample post, table of contents. Let's click on the content and paste the content. We have something. Let's publish it. And the post is live. Now, if we go to view the post, we now see the table of contents in action, right? The headings got the color from there. You can totally customize it. Now, if I click on each of these headings, the table of contents will actually navigate me to this, to that particular part in the content, which is really nice, right? You can see that here. If I click on the fourth heading, it takes me to this heading. And what if you want to make this table of contents sticky? Well, even that is really easy in Elementor. Just click on the table of contents widget, go to advanced, go to motion effects and just choose sticky top. And also you can pick stay in column. So it will only stay sticky within the column and you go past that column. It will scroll with that column. So you can pick that option as well. I'll just hit update. We'll also refresh our sample page or sample post. And let's test our table of contents in action. Now the table of contents is overlapping with our heading widget. So we just need to add a little bit of offset to that. Not the FX offset but the actual offset, which is this above. I'll update. I'll reload this page. That's looking good. You can always come back to the post design. Click on the table of contents widget. If you don't want any of the tags, you can remove them by clicking the X button. If you want them, just click this plus button and choose the tag again. But usually just leave it default from H2 to H6. Again, the container is the class name that I given for this column. Click on the column under advanced tab under CSS classes. Just type in any name that you need. WPA content sounds fine. So that's how you can totally customize it. You can play with different values again in here. Under additional options, you can choose to minimize the table of contents like that. Right. So it gives a toggle to minimize the box itself. You can enable all these and you can play with others as well. So if you don't want the subheadings within the headings, you can totally remove this. It's totally up to you. I'll just refresh this now. And now you see there's no hierarchy that it just scans headings and presents them as is. But if you want them in a hierarchical view, you can do this. You can also check this option. I can reload the sample post to see how that looks like. It's totally up to you and it looks really good. It also acts as a navigational guide. So as long as it's within that column, 
it stays sticky and that also looks good visually you can totally adjust the offset of this table of contents we did you can click on this go to advanced under motion effects just adjust the offset per device it's totally up to you and that's how you add table of contents to every new post in your wordpress automatically just compose a post in gutenberg and this template will be applied with the table of contents widget in it and if you're looking for a sidebar tutorial there'll be a link to sidebar tutorial in the description check it out thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of every new video i make and if you're new to wordpress check out wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist on the channel and i'll see you in the next one until then peace